Fit for Life, all the way here from the North Pole of Knoxville, Tennessee. What I am going to talk to you guys today is this webinar is going to be how to capitalize on the holiday season as a Beachbody coach. Okay, this time of the year represented when we decided to make our business an actual business. Uh, last year. This is when we actually started to see some gains in this business. So what I want to talk to you today, I want to get you some good tips, some really good tips for the holiday season. You know, we always talk about sharing your journey, make sure you don't come across salesy, uh, things of that nature as a Beachbody coach. Uh, I, I, would, I would suggest to you that these next two months, November and December and maybe even January, the game plan is a little different. Granted, we're still not salesmen, we're not knocking door to door, uh, but if that works for you, hey, roll with it. What we're doing for this time of the year is we are trying to capitalize on people that are one of three things. The first one is going to be people looking to stay fit for the holidays. The second thing is people looking to give the gift of fitness during the holidays. The third thing is going to be people that want a New Year's resolution and are going to commit this year to get into the best shape of their life. Those are three areas of focus that we are going to focus on today. What we want to do is we want to talk about our warm market. The warm market, as you know, is people that are your friends, your family, people that you can count on, that know you, that trust you, that love you. Now you may say, well, I've already talked to my warm market. They were not interested in buying a challenge pack or starting a challenge or a journey with me. Well, understand that depending on when you started, even if this is your first year, maybe even your third year, everything changes around this time of the year. Now, this is the time of the year when people actually start to feel very self-conscious about their body. They know they're going to be putting on weight for the holidays. They know they don't want to do it. They know that they've gone overboard. And the biggest thing is, let's say that they don't care. They know that maybe next year they are going to want to make a change. This is when I need you to revisit your warm market again. Just because it was a no last month, six months, maybe even last year, it may not be a no right now. This is when we need to discuss and to re classify them as, hey, it might be their time. I know you said a couple months ago you weren't interested in doing a challenge with me. Well, you know what? This month we're going to be doing a stay slim for the holidays or not add any weight for the holiday challenge group. In fact, Jennifer and I were getting ready to launch a during the holidays I will not gain any weight. And we're going to do a challenge group. It's going to be like a clean eating group and it's going to be specifically for not gaining weight for the holidays and will encompass Thanksgiving and Christmas as free days. Eat what you want. And I think we're going to get a lot of response from that. Okay? So here's the thing you got to do. You've got to target your shoppers. I'm not talking about going out and getting people that shop at Target. I'm talking about target people in your family and in your close niche group of people that like to shop. Everyone knows who they are. They're the people that wake up bright and early uh, Friday morning and go out and try to get the deals. They're looking for bargains. They love to shop. They love to give gifts during Christmas. These are people you need to contact now and say, hey, I've got a great way for you to get your products to people, your friends, your family. Purchase them through me. As you know, I've got this venture. I've been at it for a while now. It would really help me out if you purchase from me okay so so this is something that we're really trying to teach our downline employ on people what you want from them we are finding great results just by being honest with our friends and our family after all there are friends in our family if you if we were talking to my sister let's say you know it would really help us 
if you got on Shakeology. I know it will help you, but you will help us achieve our goal. This is what we said to our sister the other day. And of course, she, you know, she thought about it and she got back active. She was inactive for a while. She knows she likes Shakeology, but she has a hard time committing to drinking it every day. That's okay, but she got on it because she loves us. And she knows that it'll help us and help her in the process. So it gives her that extra incentive. So not only does she think she's drinking it for her, she knows she's also helping us in our business. So employ on those people that do not be afraid to say, this is a venture that I am doing, and I know it will help you, but guys, you could really help me. This is how we became five-star qualifying, by going to each of our coaches and say, guys, we love you, we know you want to be diamond, but gosh, we want to be five-star diamond. Help us out. And look, here we are, we're qualifying. Nobody drop rank, please. Okay? No your black market sales. Beachbody is going to give you a list of sales for Black Friday. Okay, black, I said black market. <laughs> know your Black Friday sale. Don't do anything on the black market that's wrong. Okay, no, <laughs> bad Santa. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. Anyways, know your Black Friday sales. Alright, know what they're going to do. Know what they are. Do not be afraid to do Black Friday sales. Don't get caught up on Challenge Pack. Well, I know that Slim and Six is on Black Friday sale, but I won't get any points from it. Gosh, you're using this to help people. You can probably sell a ton of stocking stuffers. You're gonna last year I think it was what was it? Hip hop abs or or something like that, but it came out for like 19 bucks or whatever it was. And we sold a ton of them. Here's the thing is several of those people later on, months down the road, became coaches. Remember, we're doing this long term. We're not doing this short term. Long term is the way to go. So, so what if they just buy Slim and Six this month as a stocking stuffer? They're locked in. Your coach ID number is attached to them. You and them are joined at the hip. So, so that way down the road when they want to make a purchase and want to join a challenge, maybe being a coach, they're already locked in. They're already your customers. They're in your base. Remember, you don't need to be. See, that's the thing with challenge. Right? We are so wrapped up in the points and everything. The points come. Okay, but the points are irrelevant if you're not building a base. What do you need for a base? You need customers. Customers as a base. Okay, sure they may not be points. Maybe they're nothing. Okay, but what they are is they're a base of people that you now can advertise to. You can send your emails to them. Recipes begin to help mold a relationship. So when a good time for them to join a challenge group, they're already ready. Black Friday sales, right? All right, next on the list, get together a holiday challenge group. I'm sure right now you already have a holiday challenge group promoted, right? Wrong? Get out and do it, guys. Do not make me throw my Santa cap at you. All right? Get out and do it. If you're not promoting or telling people about a challenge group coming in, a fit for the holidays, or, or a New Year's group or something, post one. Get one. Stop trying to wait for a big thing to happen. Just get a challenge. Who cares if there's just one or two people into it? Gosh, you know what you'd be? You'd be like every other coach in this business, okay? Stop trying to wait for something to happen. This is your time. So get some holiday challenge groups to do. Make it fun. Make it exciting. Put your spin on it. Make it happen, okay? We've already talked about stocking stuffers. We've already talked about appeal to your families. So what do you do? What do they want for Christmas? This is when people will say, hey, someone may ask you, hey, blank, blank, blank. What, and it's not curse blanks, but your name, blank, blank, blank. Okay, not that people would refer to you as first, middle, and last. Anyways, hey, blank. That sounds really weird. But anyways, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, when they ask you, what do you want for Christmas? Well, do what we did last year. Tell them what we want them to buy is a challenge pack. The best thing that you can do for me for Christmas is to buy something that not only helps me, but also helps you. That's what I want from you this holiday season. It would be so great if you would join with me on a P90X3 challenge. 
Now my challenge group for P90X3 is going to start on January 5th, 2014. I'm going to get it. Hey, you know what? I don't have the challenge pack yet. I would love for the challenge pack. If you buy it, feel free to give it to me. Okay? Or, if you do already have it, which a lot of us will already have it, say, I've already got the challenge pack, but it would make me so happy if you would join with me in doing this challenge. I want, or it doesn't have to be about P90X3, or it doesn't have to be about anything specific. I want you to do the ultimate reset with me. Instead of buying me a gift, I would rather us spend time doing this together. Now, even you don't have to live here, you don't have to live in the same area, you know that. We can do it online, we meet in a challenge group, me or my upline, we host it, and it's such a great time, and it would be such a good gift. I'm telling you, I know it seems a little corny, maybe if you're not used to it, but it works. It absolutely works, okay? This is something that Jennifer and I were just talking about right now. You know, you remember in August or July and August and September, we were saying, oh my gosh, our businesses are so slow right now. We can't get a success club point to save our life. And you know, well, it's not really that time. A lot of people are on vacation. A lot of people are doing other things. You know, but, but you've got to think, all right, if you, if you didn't believe that that was the time, when is the time? And I did agree with you. It was really slow for us during that season. We still kept through. We're still, we still got all of our success club points, but it was really difficult. It's been really difficult. However, this is the season for fitness people. Every business has a season. This is the season for us. Just think about it. This is the time when people want to either get into shape, try and stay in shape for the holidays because they know they're going to gain all this weight for Thanksgiving and Christmas or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so, so they know that. So, so they're ready to go. Also, New Year's resolution. What's the number one New Year's resolution? To get in shape. I'm going to get in shape. Well, you know what? You can sit on the sidelines and say, well, I don't want to come off too pushy, or I don't want to come off too salesy, or I don't want to offend somebody, and then come March, April, and May, when the rest of us have got such a forward momentum and this train is just chugging them down the highway. Well, I guess trains don't chug down highways, but they definitely chug down tracks. And, and we're going and the momentum is going just like a train. You know, it's, it's, it's a perfect analogy. You know, a train takes forever to get going. It's like, but once it gets going, what happens? It's almost impossible to stop. Trains take miles to stop. Okay, the same theory goes in our business. You have got to build momentum. I don't care if you have never, ever, never, ever, ever hit Success Club. This is the month to start. Okay, if you are not getting rejections and you are not getting people say, you know what, buddy? Hey, let me tell you something, pal. Just back off a little bit, okay? You're a little bit too pushy. How many people have ever gotten that? You know what I mean? We don't want to come across... Sometimes we, we go so far not to come across salesy that people come up to you. How many times has this happened to you? Hey, you're going to be so proud of me. Oh, yeah? You, the coach says, why is that? The person says, I just bought Insanity. Oh, yeah? And then you go nonchalantly look up in your website and you don't see any purchases. So oh, I didn't see any purchases. Well, I bought it. I have it here. Look, here it is right here. Oh, who'd you buy it from? Well, I bought it from Beachbody. Where do you think I bought it from? Why didn't you buy it from me? I didn't know I could buy it from you. How many times has this happened to you? I know it's happened to us. It's happened to us more times than we're willing to admit. Sometimes we're so far on the other side of the spectrum that people don't even know that we're an avenue or an outlet or a distributor to get these things from. Okay, now I'm not telling you to go on your wall and start selling. I'm really not. You do not want to come across that way because that doesn't work. I'm telling you to sell because that's what we're doing. But not to look salesy. You, This is a people, the reason why they tell you to invite 
is because what they are really telling you is they want a one-on-one -on -one connection between you and the customer or the challenger. Think of something like Mary Kay. You don't ever really see Mary Kay stuff being posted on the internet. But what you see is a ton of people hosting Mary Kay parties. They are looking for one-on-one -on -one interaction. Now you can say, all right, I'm just a little bit too busy right now. That sounds like a lot of work. Um, now, now you're saying maybe host a get-together, a holiday shake-and-share party, all these different things. And you know, it's, it's such a busy time of the season. This is also the time of the season when people want to hang out. They want to socialize. They want to wear their corny new sweaters. Okay? This is what they want to do. So, with that being said, capitalize on it. You can make the decision right here and right now that you're going to capitalize on it and you could possibly change your life in 2014. That's what we did. In 2012, we averaged making about $100 to $200 a week. Oh, I know what you're saying. That's so much more. If I could make that, I would be great. But remember, we had already been in this business a year and a half. So we already have you beat there for a lot of you. Okay? And, and the ones that have been this long, they, you've seen $100 to $200 paychecks. Don't get me wrong. But this is when we said, you know what? We are making a commitment from this point forward that we believe that Beachbody, comma, Inc., period, can pay us like a business. And I'm going to treat it like a business. And within six months, my wife retired from her job. And still currently, she'll make more money in a week than she did in a month. That's after a year of no excuses, eight-hour days, etc. Do you have the time to do that? Probably not. Okay, but you do have a time to give something to it. Now, don't just get on and say, I'm going to do two to three hours a day in my business and just sit down and look at the internet. Be laser focused. Get some parties together. Get some shake and shares together. Get ready for events. If someone invites you to an event, go. Okay, if you're not hosting Thanksgiving at your house, host it if you're able to. If it's the plans are already made, the plans are already made. Christmas dinner. Hanukkah dinner, whatever it is, get it going, okay? Get it going and get it so where you can tailor it and say, hey, we're going to have Shakeology eggnog or something of that nature. This is the time when people are going to want to host parties. Be one of the people that are hosting, okay? And if you're not one of the people that are hosting, ask if you can bring some, some Shakeology samples. Find, get a recipe for Shakeology cookies, something. That where it all you want to do is open the line of communication between you and a specific person. When they say, hmm, that cookie's pretty good. What is that? Well, I actually make it with a product about Shakeology. Oh, I've never heard of Shakeology. Boom, you're in. Well, let me tell you about Shakeology. It's actually this great daily dose of dense nutrition. Blah, 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 blah. You see what I mean? It's how you get into that. Just... Oh, well, it's something that I use at home. I like it. Anyway, so how are the kids? You know what I mean? It's what you do. Once they open the door, once you've opened the door, and you've made a commitment that you're going to talk about Shakeology or Beachbody, do not jump off of it again. Get in there. This is a problem that a lot of people have. They get in there. They talk about it. They start to see a little bit of, of communication, but they don't want to come across salesy, so they back off. Every time you back off, it takes three times longer to start the conversation back up again. Now you've got to figure out another reason to bring it back up. Now you're sitting here, you're thinking about it. So if the door is open, if you're talking about fitness, health, beach body, the new P90X, Shakeology, Herbalife, wraps, whatever it is, if the door is open, buddy, you keep it open and you keep that door open until they say, get out of here. All right, you know what I mean, something in between that. That's what you need. You need, once you're in that door, it's like, you know, in my line of work, I'll knock on that door, I'll be like, boom, 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 boom. And they'll open the door, and the second they open the door, my leg goes right in there. And my foot's in that door frame. They're not closing that door on me. They've opened the door, I'm in it. I've got that door, and I'm, hey, what's going on in there? No matter what, I'm in that door, okay? They've opened it, they've opened it, but I'm in it. I'm in it. And as soon as they back up a little bit, I'm coming in. I am coming in and we're going to do it. All right. I'm in it. 
I've pot committed, I've decided, you know what? I'm in, I'm out, I'm boom, got a bing, bada boom. That's what you need to do, okay? That is what you need to do. I know it sounds funny, I'm being a little corny, but I'm just trying to give you an example of what you have to be. If you're not doing these things, do not get on the board and say, well, I don't know, I just, nothing really happened to me and I didn't really sell anything. Well, who did you talk to? Reflect in yourself. Last year, if you guys remember, the ones that were with us last Christmas and Thanksgiving, we had a challenge to see how many relatives we could get on board with Shakeology. I don't care if you have to give them the dang packets, whatever it is. You should be there and for dessert, oh, I got a dessert, make it. Be out there, okay? Be out there. If you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. So if you are not outside of your comfort box, you're not probably going to succeed at this, okay? So you have got to be like, boom, 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 boom. But just do it. It gets easier and easier and easier. I don't care. We've got family members say, uh-oh, here comes Jennifer. She's going to try to get me on a fitness program. Oh, my gosh. I hope she doesn't make me try to get rid of this belly. And they'll say that with a straight face. Can you believe it? Well, yeah, we're coming at you, and we're coming at your belly. Alright? Because you don't want it. You know you don't want it. And I'm going to bring up to you again that I have the way to do it. I have the ability to help you. So you can laugh about your gut like a bowl full of jelly or we can start January 5th, 2014 and blast right to it. Alright, P90X3. I know all of you guys are getting ready to launch your P90X3 attack, correct? I tell you. Do not do it too early. They're not doing pre-orders this year. You do not want to cut off your nose to spite your face. Okay, what I mean by that. P90X3 is not available till December. You cannot buy it early. You cannot pre-register it early. I don't mind a week or two before starting to compile a list of people that want to buy it from you. But if you start advertising it too early and telling your people, what are they going to do? Well, they're going to say, oh, okay, I'll just wait till December. You've given them the out. You actually gave them the reason to wait. We don't want that. We need points in November. We need sales in November. We need fitness groups starting in November. There are tons. If, if they're using P90X, oh, i got to have P90X3. Unless they are P90X junkies and they can show you a P90X tattoo on their, on their arm like Richard Neal has, they don't need it. They don't need it. They may want to do it, but they don't need it. We got T25, we got combat, we got tons of stuff that we can do right now before P90X3 comes out. Okay, but as it gets closer, we need to start thinking about our P90X3 challenge packs, P90X3 giveaways, etc. That's going to happen in the first week of December. Be prepared for it. Everything down. That's another thing about context. You know, Beachbody tells you to meet two people a day. Well, you know what? If you're not getting their name, phone number, email address, etc. Oh, well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to come across pushy. Let me ask you this. And on this goes, we've got a lot of women on our team that talk to a lot of people. Have you ever, 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 ever had somebody decline giving you their email address? I don't know why we are so afraid to ask for something that is always given. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my name's Jen, my name's Mike, I do a free, I do a challenge group, etc. Would you like to join it? Ah, I don't know. Well, you know, I'd like to, or whatever it is, you know, I, I do a, I do a free, like for us, we do a free fit club every Tuesday, 6.15. Uh, can I send you some information on it? And we, Jennifer opens that door probably to every person at every register that she goes to. Hey, are you in the area? Yeah, well, over on Merchants Road, we do a fit club. I'd love to have you attend. It's free. It's no cost. I'd love to see you there. And we get people that show up. In fact, we had a gentleman come up that, uh, that, that met Jennifer uh, at Lowe's. We, we, we brought in this weed whacker that was completely crazy, that was all tangled up. And, and he helped her. He helped her get this weed whacker together and uh, get it all fixed but you know what you what would see three weeks later he came to our channel he came to our fit club this was just somebody at Lowe's an employee that I've actually known for a while but she reached out to him did he buy anything 
No, but he's in our network. Remember what I said earlier. The trick to this business is adding people to your network. Doesn't matter if they're customers now, as long as they're in your base, they'll be a customer at some time or they'll know somebody that will be a customer at some time. Guys, really? I can't believe you let me do that whole last segment without my Santa cap on. I mean, I didn't realize until about 10 minutes in that I didn't have it on. Anyway, so I got my cap on all as well. All right, I figure if we're going to be goofy, we're going to end it goofy. But I'm trying to keep you guys engaged. I know this is probably about a 25, 25, 30 minute webinar. I'm trying to keep you engaged because I think I'm really slinging some good stuff your way. Lastly, 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 lastly is those dinners. All right, we touched on this a little bit, but make sure you're wearing some sort of wear and share even if it's your bracelet if you don't have bracelets talk to your upline and get one we always have ours on my wife and I we always keep our belief get something a beach body pin your shirt something whatever it is get something that you can wear obviously if this is a formal dinner or, or a formal outing don't show up in a P90X tank top know your audience know your surroundings but try and get it. Figure out a way to make, remember, make your destiny happen. Okay, we talked about this with, with uh, I think, uh, one of Jennifer's uh, uh, Star Diamond coaches and us, we had this conversation. You know, you have to make your destiny. You can be a person that waits for destiny or you can be a person that makes your destiny. If you're one of your goals for the evening, besides having fellowship and time with your family, is to get P90X or Beachbody brought up. Try and give yourself the most success, the most chance for success. That means many of us have P90X duffel bags or shirts or hats or whatever it is. Okay, even, you know, even, let's say you're going to be there all day. What would we do? Uh, well, we brought PT25 with us. Anyone want to work out with us? We brought, we brought Insanity uh, uh, Recovery Week with us. You know, you choose something that might be real easy that anyone can do. Oh, it's real easy. It's 15, 20 minutes. Does anyone want to make room for dinner? Or does anyone want to work out with me after dinner? Push play and get people doing it. Why not? We do it. Right? I mean, they all know that we're in the in the fitness business. That's what we do. We are in the business of getting people fit, including ourselves. So why would it be so outlandish that we would come to, to Thanksgiving dinner with T25 in our bag? Right? Or or maybe uh or maybe Les Mills Combat or something. I know Combat's got a 25-minute one. Something short, something easy, but try and make your own destiny. Okay? Give yourself the most opportunity to bring it up. That goes for Thanksgiving and Christmas or whatever. Now, now if you do go to a holiday dinner in December, you know what? Gifts may already been purchased, etc. That's okay. What do we got coming up? We've got New Year's. New Year's is right around the corner. Hey guys, still time to join my New Year's challenge group. I would love for you to be involved in it. It would mean the world to me for you to be involved in my New Year's challenge group. 2014 is our year, right? I mean, I know a lot of coaches are like, oh, they say that every year. Oh, you know what will happen. Okay, so what should you do? Just keep your mouth shut, okay? And, and, and enjoy goose eggs every week. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, at some point, you got to get real with yourself. I've got to get real with you. We've got to stop, stop coddling each other and say, you know what, guys? If you want to make money in this business or if you want to help people in this business, which is our number one goal, you have got to get out there. You have got to force change. Many, many, many times, and if you're watching this video, you may be one of the people. Wow, if it wasn't for my upline constantly nagging me, I wouldn't have done this. Wow, my upline always being there for me and always reaching out to me made the difference of me quitting or staying involved. So why should that be any different from you? Why should that just be your upline? Why should it be Jennifer always calling? Hey, you're doing your workouts? Hey, I haven't seen you posting in a while. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, how can I help you? Hey, what can I do for you? Those things to keep you constantly engaged, turn it, 
flip it around and help the next person. That's how you create wealth and that's how you save people's lives. Okay, I'm being dead serious now because this is a dead serious conversation. If you want to help your friends, your family get fit and possibly save them from death, you need to be a little bit forceful. Okay, I'm not telling you to be rude or mean, but you say, look, I've got what it takes. I've got a team that can help you. I've got a team that is ready to jump with you. Remember, if you are watching this video and you just didn't find it on YouTube uh, and you are part of Fit for Life, you are part of approximately a 1,600 coach operation. Okay, Jennifer's got 1,600 coaches in her downline. Currently has six lifetime diamonds. All-star coach. Okay, elite qualifying. I'm not saying this to toot our horn. I am telling you that you have the people in your organization that can help your family members and your friends succeed. If you're not out there pitching Fit for Life or Healthy for Life or, or, or all the other teams that are on our team together and you're not pitching them as a group and saying we are a strong huge team of like-minded individuals, then you are robbing yourself. The reason why we're fit for life, the reason why we are a team is because we're just that. So you better be saying, you know what? You're not, if you're a coach that doesn't have a single coach, maybe you borderline active and inactive. Don't bring that up. What you want to bring up is you're a member of a 1,600 person team. And as soon as I add you into my challenge group and I add you into my coaching group, you're going to get loved on, you're going to get cared on, and you're going to get nurtured into getting you the results that you want. And if you or anyone else that you know did not have that experience in Fit for Life or whatever other team you're on, I want you to tell me personally and I'll reach out to that person because I do not believe that happened. I believe the second you got here, you were loved on, cared on, and you have all the support in the world that you need. We're not scamming anybody. We are what we preach. The products work. I drink it every day. I never miss my shake, ever. I may not work out every day. I'll be the first to admit to you, I don't really like it. I'm one of the ones like Lindsay Matway. I don't like to work out. I work out because I have to. People like my wife, they love it. They feel it. They need it. I don't need it. Oh, I, I need it, but I, I, don't, I don't have a yearn for it. Okay, I work a lot of hours. I just would rather just sit. But I do it because I have to. Okay, but I know that I have that support. I know that my team supports me. I know that I can reach out to anyone in our downline, upline, sideline, whatever it is, and get the help I need. So you need to be telling your friends and family for the low cost of $100 a month, not only, or whatever it is, $110, not only do you get Shakeology, which is 30 meals, not only are you getting meals, you're also getting a support group, a health group, a fitness group, a nutrition group. What do we have? We've got people that have made nutrition cookbooks. We've got people that have done all these things. Okay? So explain what you have. Tell them what you get. And if you need help, reach out. All right, guys? Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Whatever it is, let's go out and do it. Please post below. Tell me what you like best about this video. Please click like. Please share it. I spent a lot of time doing this. I don't get many weekends off. I spent the weekend doing this video for you. Show me some love, guys. Happy holidays.